advice that I come to the media. So uh, today I would like to introduce our ICT adaptation in our university's uh, curriculum. In uh, 2008, December, we kicked off the mobile line. So there is a very high speedily change and change, in, especially in the media. So I will introduce uh, all kinds of uh, ICT adaptation in our university. Yeah. So the outline of my presentation is first the background of motivation and the kind of approach. And uh, let me introduce the KNOU Elon. Um, before I take charge of the director of the uh, Institute of Distance Education, I take charge of the director of the Elon Center. So I introduce how we, uh, our uh, e-learning uh, development, how the process and I see the adaptation for that is kind of teaching statistics. I'm, actually, I'm a statistician. So uh, then, then I would like to introduce the only online master course we kick off uh, several years ago from. And uh, uh, well, we are for the uh, distance education. You know, it's a hot issue these days. So I introduced the uh, KNOU OER. So first motivation of my uh, this kinds of uh, media uh, uh, is a variety of educational demand for distance and a, a change of paradigm in distance education. And also nowadays, uh, 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 learner and students uh, increase of access of the World Wide Web and also enlargement of educational space and uh, uh, explore various levels in the teaching learning system. And the educational paradigm is changing. And we need the standardization of e-contents or mobile contents for uh, OTA. And let me introduce the KNO e-learning. So when I was a job at the university 30 years ago, I teach at the same university 30 years, so we received the uh, students' uh, report by the post -mail. They sent out many uh, the reports for me, for us. We marking like this, it's a just analog style. So we uh, replied to them by the post mail. And uh, after that, these days, uh, we make a uh, construct a system for the uh, online submission. We compare the, uh, how many percentage similar to between students and the other, uh, some, uh, uh, you know, uh, how many percentage this student the same as them, you know. We can evaluate uh, the checking about that. And the, all the, uh, the faculty members' office is surrounded by this many uh, report box, you know. So because our university uh, every semester was uh, 170,000 students registered this year, and uh, actually 200,000 uh, uh, student registration, but year by year, demographically, our students, number of students decreased a little. So, uh, yeah, and um, we have uh, a little different from your Catalonia University that we have a blended style. So every course we have a six hours face-to-face -face class now. So there is a mega class, one classroom, <laughs> so many students there are in the state of the whole country. So we have a 16 regional uh, compound in the uh, whole country there. So uh, every uh, compound uh, they have a class. And also uh, we opened the, our own cable collection in 1986. So uh, uh, we, uh, like this uh, taping we have, so uh, every uh, uh, Wednesday, this uh, so Wednesday and Saturday, I'm on TV, teaching statistics with a computer. Just uh, only one woman in my department. If you watch that, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, everyone uh, open to the public uh, all day long. The, uh, our, our university courses display, deliver to the over, open to the public. So. Uh, some of my friends watching between the channel. They change the channel. They one second they watching. They recognize me, you know. So uh, that is uh, our own table uh, cable collection. There are. Uh, I have um, this kind of experience. I have a seminar and meeting at the French Italy. So I have to deliver my uh, four hours lecture because uh, during my official visiting there, I asked to some one of my friend in other university, but couldn't do it, emergency happened. So I have to deliver my lecture from my hotel to the Seoul and Seoul to the 10th city on real time. So um, I can see, you know, I mentioned before, our students scattered the whole country. 
uh, this uh, teleconferencing system we use it and I will deliver our lecture through the kinds of network they are. So uh, it, it means that the, it, it, this is a map of our country <laughs> divided by two, as you know, North and South. The southern part, I live in Seoul here, so we have a, uh, the 10 city uh, connected on real time and we deliver our lecture like that way. Actually, uh, 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 I have a lecture in Seoul, scheduled uh, delivered to the Tan City, but at the time from France, I uh, uh, delivered to Seoul and Seoul to deliver to. I can use uh, two kinds of system: Skype, Skype, mm -hmm. audio and video delivered by Skype, and Nanjon is a Korean chattering system. I can uh, remote control of my PPT slide at Seoul because the Skype some, a little bit some some second later. It, uh, transfer to the, to the student. So I can use the uh, two kinds of uh, systems there are. So I can deliver the, all this uh, CD on real time. So, uh, you know, the uh, this is yellow teacher student. <laughs> I asked to him some question. So he replied to me, you know, oh, there is a long list of them. Uh, uh, like this, uh, the yellow teacher student, I asked one question. He replied to me, and the, every other student can share. Let's say a real time. Thing. So we can, uh, without any quitting, I can success finish four hour lecture at my hotel. But in France, only in the morning, five o'clock in the morning, and uh, the, the, in Seoul, in Korea, it is a regular class time. So I can do like that way. It's just a uh, ICT era you know, in the educational field, I think. So let me introduce the e-learning background in Korea. Know, the middle of 1980, uh, our governments made a national basic infrastructure there. And um, 1990, uh, uh, Minister of Education announced Edutopia, ed Education Utopia. We call it Edutopia concept, they are. And also, in 1998, the Virtual University Trial Project was initiated by the uh, Ministry of Education. In 2001, we, uh, our uh, university also, joined Cyber University Consortium. At that time, 16 consortium was uh, constructed. So, uh, uh, 2000, uh, <coughs> 2007, E-Korea region was uh, announced, you know. Uh, 2003, we called it four years later, we will go this way, uh -huh. it's E-Korea uh, version. And also we call the uh, 2006 Ubiquitous Learning there, and the 2010 Smart Learning is very popular terminology. Smartphone, every uh, kid, every learner uh, enjoy and sleep together. <laughs> My kids sleep together, play together with the smartphone. So we would like to use it educational media for the learner with the smartphone. So this is all our TV lecture and all our contents transfer to the mobile contents. So in the same way, they can have a study. So um, several years ago, uh, the smartphone small is better. But these days are bigger and bigger for the uh, screen, uh, readable for the, that kinds of children. <coughs> so it's an equation, statistical equation like that. So we call the smart line there. So um, uh, it is an uh, in, uh, internet environment in Korea. Many uh, people use the internet and, uh, because of the initiated by the government, the broadband situation is very important. You know, the basic broadband is very strongly support these kinds of e-learning contents or mobile contents like that way. So this slide shows the uh, one PC per the five, uh, five students use during this period there. So the, from uh, 2006, uh, Ubiquitous Korea, and also Lifelong Learning Society was announced. So this is the OECD report that according to the country, they have uh, some, uh, you know, uh, number of computer per student, the same statistic, and a little different, but the, uh, there is uh, some the country we can compare to them. And also in Korea, year by year, decrease the uh, number of students Use for one PC there. Uh, let's see. Uh, this, is, this is our university video. <laughs> Relax time. <laughs> KNOU was the first Thanks, institution that provided distance learning educational programs. 
and became the biggest distance learning university in Korea, a lifetime education site for the nation. regional campuses and 35 study centers to provide a setting for students. It provides wide extensive education opportunities to everybody with four colleges and 21 departments. Practical lifelong educational program and the graduate schools through e-learning. The high quality education in KNOU transpires ultra-modern education infrastructure when I'm my first TV lecture, lecture, I go to the KBS Korean Broadcasting Company. But these days, uh, after the digital media center, we have our own studio like that. You know, we can have a recording, taping, and all sorts of multimedia lectures. And the students can access all lectures with Internet LOD system and download them to their mobile devices, such as MP3 and PDA. And enjoy radio. Recording in VCD lecture at any time and any <coughs> place. <coughs> KNOU, leading the e-learning environment with innovative education paradigm in the digital era. Became a good benchmarking example of a distance education institute in the world. of sisterhood relationship with 12 universities in nine different countries. KNOU is leaping the number on distance learning university in the world. put together and all registration from each university together. So it is, we can share and we can exchange our credit like that way. And uh, 2000, we also another consortium, ICCU. And uh, 2001, we established the e-learning center. Uh, instead of great, uh, the motivation was the setting of the graduate, only online graduate school. So uh, at the time, four departments start. It is, these days, uh, 16 departments. So my uh, department, Information Statistics, uh, started last year, is the second year. So we have a 30 uh, seat, but among 30% towards medical doctor. You know, they want to the learn the only online uh, about the uh, statistical data analysis. In 2002, we uh, uh, e-learning hub site e-campus we can have. And 2004, uh, we develop uh, very uh, uh, many uh, contents supported from the uh, Ministry of Education. And at the time, we develop uh, English version e-learning contents for international the collaboration there. And 2008, we called the UB Qantas campus, uh, starting with the mobile learning. Uh, so uh, seven department of online graduate school uh, use that uh, the, uh, mobile campus they are. In 2011, we called uh, OER for audio and distance learning. So we uh, opened the uh, uh, prime college for 40 and 50 age group. You know, in Korea this day, the 40, 50 age group is baby boomer. We call that after World War, you know, Korean War, 1950. I was born in 1954. That age group suddenly big uh, age group, demographic after the war. So. These days, it is come out from the company to the uh, re after retirement. You know? It is a social hard issue. So our uh, university and Ministry of Education would like to uh, prepare the uh, training uh, or educational program for the baby boomer for the after, uh, after retirement for the prepare the second life. We call that smart aging with uh, some this kinds of educational program. That is the <coughs> campus offsite. So e-learning contents here for the graduate student, undergraduate student, in the lifelong learning uh, course they are. And there is a, a, any a TV lecture installed in the internet there. And the, uh, this uh, module is a, for the successful e-learning uh, schooling for the student 
for the faculty member how uh, we can do the successful uh, the providing and production of e-learning contents and how the uh, learner successfully get credit through the e-learning contents regarding them there. So it is an e-learning e e e uh, campus there. So I mentioned before that the uh, graduate school program and undergraduate school program and continuous education program is a non-credit course there are. So 40, 50 baby boomers prime college here and uh, we open the open educational resource and uh, also in international e-learning contents there are. So it, it is an e-learning uh, for the international campus there. We develop uh, these kinds of subjects there are. Korean history and Korean culture and the food and costume like that in this contents and Korean economic development, and also my course statistics here, and the water quality co op with the uh, Wisconsin Medicine faculty together, you know, and also introductory computer and history of economics and Korean, uh, click Korean. It means the, uh, when these days there are so many uh, Asian uh, area people want to learn the Korean language. So that is uh, guided by in English, and uh, they learn. Korean language from the alphabet, So uh, I would like to uh, ICT education in open and distance learning. As you know that uh, ICT is uh, def defined like here, you know. So um, uh, it uh, reconstructing educational system, very different from the uh, uh, analog style or very uh, different from, you know, and diversifying teaching and learning method and engaging all uh, stakeholders of education and adopting rapid change in society and development. And also the enhancing educational efficiency and effectiveness and productivity too. Uh, so we uh, actively uh, adopt ICT in the education, especially like our uh, the Distance Education Institute and uh, like your uh, same uh, Distance Education uh, Institute accept ICT very active in our uh, learning product that they are. So uh, scope of ICT in education is like this. And, uh, ICT is a tool to innovate teaching and learning practice. And it is also an administrative tool and also an expanding learning opportunity and also the facilitator of higher order thinking skill like that way. This slide from the OECD there. So, uh, uh, compare the uh, without the computer and with the computer, how they performance between two. So the upper triangle is uh, with the computer, you know, for the uh, mathematics uh, the performance for the student, you know. And also the red box uh, mean the uh, uh, without, com uh, no, no. without uh, that is a uh, with the computer and a uh, without computer. That is a gap. Every uh, country they had a gap between the with the computer and without computer. So ICT make more efficient and more productivity they are. It is a scatter plot of the, between the uh, uh, student using computer at home and achievement of problem solving is a positive correlation they are. And also this is a learning outcome is uh, calculated like this survey they are. So um, UNESCO published two uh, ICT transforming education regional guide. So uh, this one is ICT transforming education, and also is ICT for higher education. I joined in this book, two books in online. You can freely download. So various kinds of aspects they uh, describe each chapter they are. So I strongly recommend for you for the reference they are. And when we, uh, the ICT transforming education step from the emerging, applying, infusing, and transforming the education like that way. So that is my uh, two, two reference they are. So uh, uh, the components of e-learning, as you know well, the content itself and technology and service plus learner could be a uh, 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 successful e-learning. So uh, uh, when we construct the e-learning contents, we use the video clip, text, audio, and flash and imported document together. And finally, we can get a content based on timeline and also the, we have to manage of the objective-based contents and also personalized contents we can have. It, it could be a reusable and just-in-time assembly they are. So future e-learning we uh, define like this, learner-oriented education and continuing and lifelong education 
and also active interactive uh, education and also media-based distance education. So we call it uh, customizing, customized just in time and just for me. So it is a typical characteristics of a future e-learning. And for my uh, experience from 1986, um, I use Apple computer, AP Apple computer. It's all <laughs> because uh, my statistical equation could be uh, designed only this. Uh, we could not do with the PC, you know. So Apple AP Apple computer, I uh, develop one chapter, 25 inch disk. Can you remember this five inch disk? 25 inch disk for one chapter. And after that, two, three and a half inch disk, 20 chapter. This is all the, the installing in the web. You can freely use uh, without the limitation of memory, and we can do that. So uh, I introduced uh, my uh, e-learning contents for introductory statistics. So target learner is uh, the beginner, the non-statistician, and basic this course, an objective uh, to understand the basic concept, and uh, they uh, go to the uh, statistical package analysis, and the uh, content says uh, it, this volume, 10 chapter has a, uh, each uh, chapter has a 20 frames, you know. So this is a composition of my e-learning contents here. Uh, every course, we have a video or a lecture tape a file, so I divide a small set pick up of each chapter. So we had a video lecture here and a dynamic flash and also a story of statistics. It's a relaxed corner. So uh, uh, how we can abuse our statistics uh, introduced and also the uh, Shakespeare, how they, uh, how he used uh, the coin with what probability about terminology. So that is, I uh, introduced uh, the, the kinds of uh, special story there. So ebook also here, you know, ebook as you know that uh, uh, reduce the textbook. So very detailed explanation here and the link to the equation and link to the uh, first, uh, terminology to the dictionary. So ebook here and also the online test each chapter they finished uh, the multiple choice uh, question there. So self-evaluation corner uh, at the uh, online test they are. And S-Link is a statistical package developed by the Korean statistician. So if I use the, the SAS or SPSS, I have to pay very much money for the royalty. So uh, the, the S-Link is a Korean statistical package, so freely uh, they donate it. Uh, as I mentioned before, the, all the students and learners have uh, objectives to data analysis, real practice with statistical package. So, and also the uh, CAT is a computer in the teaching statistics according to the change of the sample size, they recognize the wide distribution change by themselves. Right? It, 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 we call that the learner initiated learning style. And also the Java practice come from Germany. Uh, Fern University is uh, the same open university in Germany. Uh, the Johan Mittag is my uh, friend. So, you have me tag and I am Ichiko Watanabe in Japan. Uh, we have a legal agreement between our module exchange. Mm -hmm. So they come from uh, the Germany that I translated in uh, Korean and English there. So plotting this uh, uh, here, there is a da real data display. And we key in the display the data, plotting the left, left, uh, left uh, graph there. So they can uh, analyze the for example, correlation we have to something statistics. You know. So that is all our my uh, component in my inline contents there are. So this is a typical first screen, there is a roadmap here. And there is a TV lecture and an e-book here, and uh, a test self-evaluation corner, and a statistical package here, and a statistics story here, and a Java practice, and uh, so all components like this uh, constructed here, uh, this is a story of this chapter. Summary like this is a terminology keyword linked to the dictionary. And this is a chapter object they are. So also the uh, video file. So that is my comment. So this is the English version and the Korean version too. So 
your internet here, I can <laughs> show that, but your statistics are dry subject. I wonder you are not <laughs> interested in like that. So, and also the uh, UNCR is a UN institute, training institute in uh, Jiba in Japan. They train official statisticians. Uh, they are uh, scattered the Asia Pacific area. So uh, they invite uh, some uh, official statisticians to Japan. During one month, they stay there and they have a workshop there. But uh, so I suggest them to uh, develop the e-library, like the e-learning contents. They can have uh, uh, deliberate to the uh, Philippines and Indonesia or small islands scattered for uh, Asia Pacific area. Basic course covered by this e-learning contents. And advanced course, they come to Japan and they have a workshop there. So uh, it is uh, another work there. Uh, it's an international version I mentioned before. This is my page. The list of there uh, and uh, some uh, uh, some uh, courses translated in Japanese and Chinese language there. Uh, also, uh, our university have a, uh, some uh, start the ESM network. I'm a coordinator of the ESM Asia Europe uh, countries uh, network through the ELAN. So E means the same meaning of the ELAN context, E. So we have a, a conference at uh, 2006, and at the time that is, uh, and after that, we have a follow up meeting also, and that is a meeting uh, photo there. It's so Lama Molina, Spanish, was a, a director of the ASEF, and he, <laughs> Organize a co work with us, and uh, we uh, have a seminar. Uh, Jan Pavlovsky from the Finland, <laughs> and uh, Jack Bottier from France, and the Barrett from Britain Open University. We have a workshop there. Same questions. <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays, uh, director of the uh, UNESCO Lifelong Learning in Hamburg. So he was a uh, 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 director of the ASEM, uh, ASEM Lifelong Learning, huh? Hanyang University. Very yeah. well from Britain, the Northern University. the smart learning with the smart there. So uh, uh, smart learning uh, technology with ICT, we call the smart learning. Uh, smart means that the S is a social, self-directed, and speed. 
and M module mobility and micro learning, A is autonomy, active and assessment, R relationship and reflection, remix, and T is a transfer, time saving, and training. So we call smart, but it initial has a, that kinds of meaning uh, integrated in the smart learning there. And uh, this is a smart learning characteristics. Uh, so uh, uh, we call this smart device means the pet. Meaning, uh, I, I uh, just before the uh, five year meaning, <laughs> the part meaning, and also uh, uh, some broad uh, definition of the uh, smart device they are. And also it was a, it is a intellectual and adaptive and customized learning, and also social interaction between uh, learners. You know, uh, there are very active interaction between them, and also the uh, formal and non-formal like the learning and learning uh, for ability to thinking solving problem they are. So this is a smartphone of my uh, university mobile contents. That is a typical uh, first screen they are. So uh, uh, with, uh, smart learning module has a uh, uh, technology plus uh, smart learning characteristics defined before, and we are setting the uh, value and role of smart learning, and finally we can get a smart learning module there. So in detail, the, uh, each uh, concept like this uh, detail, uh, finally we get the uh, smart learning uh, the layout they are. So, uh, uh, according to the role of smart learning for higher education, distance education, we um, make an agenda for smart learning right here. So, support for need of higher education, we extend smart learning with dynamic ICT device and joint with learning network and human communication and learning network. We could uh, make an agenda of support for learning uh, system and provide dynamic uh, communication channel. And also easy accessible system and customized contents. We can have an agenda construction of a portfolio for safe the learners' performance, accreditation for crime, and also adaptation for individual and social change. We can get agenda, the guideline and roadmap for learner and dynamic channel for communication they are. And finally, we can get uh, some whole uh, integrate all these concepts. We can get uh, uh, this uh, smart learning layout like here. So uh, uh, based on that kinds of uh, uh, survey and research, we can get a smart learning, uh, high, more high quality smart learning, we can, we can do that. So um, as you know, the, uh, this kinds of uh, e-learning contents and mobile contents, all this personal career based, uh, career based uh, flexible coursework, it means the uh, customizing. Now, according to the level of learner, we can get uh, uh, customized contents they are, and also availability of exchange with prerequisite learning, and also flexible and keep standard for Hong University, and we, are, we can also system for smart learning paradigm with the trend change. Uh, technology changes so shortly, so uh, it's a very difficult to update with the same level, uh, same uh, fashion, and same design they are. So we can construct a scenario of smart learning and system so uh, this is a figure out, layout of our smart learning here. So let me uh, detail, uh, introduce some mobile learning at our university. After the mobile learning kicked off in the December of 2008, every learner flying uh, unlimited uh, area or unlimited uh, yeah, time and place, they are flying everywhere. So uh, uh, we have uh, uh, mobile learning environment, PDA in school bus, or mobile computer in museum, or cell phone in playground, PC at home. So in this uh, scenario, the uh, mobile device is very broad the concept they are. So that is the uh, main menu of our you know, the mobile learning. So campus information and administrative information and learning service they are. So that is, I mentioned before, this is a speaker, uh, our uh, applet screen uh, design here. So mobile class here, administration, three buttons, main they are. So this is a list of the subject, and finally they have a class. So students or professor connect with the, uh, our uh, KNOE server, and it was linked to the uh, uh, telephone company server together. So uh, we can have uh, some shared server, uh, KNOU server, and uh, 
LG is a uh, uh, Korean uh, biggest uh, company they are. So uh, we uh, put together and they serve to the uh, learners uh, mobile contents. So in detail, they have uh, this kinds of uh, detailed configuration there. So uh, campus news and by page, they check their credit and their class exam and student's record by the LMS system they are. And also uh, connect with the tutor, you know. Uh, several years ago, from several years ago, we uh, started the tutor system. But um, it's very difficult to, to spend big budget for the tutoring system. But uh, 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 very uh, difficult to communicate without seeing each other, you know. So we promote many research and many system we constructed. This is the LMS system for the tutoring for the student is very good uh, support for them. And also mobile learning here and the link to the library too. Uh, so in the future, as you know, that mobile uh, in our daily life, in a parking lot and restaurant and the study and any, any uh, daily life connected with mobile like this. So let me show my uh, our real mobile contents. So login and uh, uh, the learner is our student or not in checking and uh, connect with the server. There is a class, you know, and the list of the uh, subject. So what departments? Uh, there is my department here, information and statistics, so what grade they are. And after that, they have a list of the you know, courses they are, and the introductory statistics, and the chapter. Uh, uh, online uh, uh, 
uh, MOOCs uh, university uh, will be uh, like this way. Uh, start from the OER and they collect the credit. Finally, they can get uh, some uh, degree, you know. So that is uh, OER university concept. So when I have uh, attended the uh, Paris OER declaration meeting, at the time I met the uh, director of the Netherlands Open University, they would like to open the uh, graduate school, OER graduate school. So uh, uh, they make a consortium and they give a credit and degree through the OER system they are. It was done with the UNESCO they are. So, so Open University in Britain open like this. Uh, and before the Paris OER meeting, we have a regional, five regional meeting in the world. So I attend the uh, Bangkok meeting, <laughs> it's near there. So we discuss uh, very detail about each uh, term by term and line by line. And finally, we have a declaration in the 2012 you know, in Paris they are. So it was initiated the COL and the um, logo is like this. You know? So they have a whole country, all in the world, uh, uh, agree that the, uh, we are declaration there. So I, uh, our university uh, would like to open the uh, OER, already open to the public, a uh, TV lecture without charge of the uh, lecture. They can share, but uh, uh, from this, uh, the, I mentioned before, smart aging, 40, 50 uh, years grow, we try to make uh, very many programs for the focusing on the uh, 40, 50 new startups, age group. And so we, uh, uh, at this moment, we would like to OER ourselves together. So, uh, OER service support from government or the uh, official fund. First, uh, investment by the uh, government or the, the some institution or in international institute. That is very important. You know? Without those kinds of uh, first investment, it's a very weak point. We cannot continue to the uh, OER system there are. So we would like to uh, construct the IKNO, we call it OER, and also we support OER, and also what is the success factor for the OER, and we try to find the uh, fixed uh, support from the government, and uh, we set in the future agenda there. So when we uh, setting the uh, IKNO OER, the concept is guaranteed lifelong learning for the people, and also educational function, sustainable self-realization, and promote potentiality and a social function also define and promote the educational welfare and social integration there. So uh, in detail, the structure of the OER like this, three spaces, learning space for the uh, regular courses of the public, and the lab space is a professional community there. So we call the intelligence team donation, you know, by the already retired people, give uh, their intelligence to the, this, through the OER system. Also, the interaction space uh, promote interactivity between the learner and the instructor. Uh, like that way, three space we define there, and we setting the OER distance education there are. So for that uh, OER system, we try to the uh, uh, step by step there. So uh, OER contents model, we define learning points, self-study, and the experience of the field work and connection with advanced learning. So we uh, define the uh, OER learning process like in detail. And after that, we uh, uh, learning points, we. Uh, Stage learning point, we divide it like this in detail item there. So we, the uh, real uh, contents like here, you know, in, sorry, in Korean there. Uh, so uh, this uh, OER is, uh, uh, you know, focus on the 4050, we start. But uh, this year, another version, you know, more uh, wide, uh, the target uh, learner there. So uh, second is a self-study uh, is a stage self-study stage. So we sub-stage like in detail. So according to the uh, stage, we uh, develop a different uh, way. And also field work practice among our target uh, learner, 40, 50 age ago, need, uh, need for the uh, field work practice. So we have a regional uh, campus in the whole country. So we can have a face-to-face -face, uh, class 
for the uh, field work practice like that. And also uh, uh, they get uh, some credit each course put together and they were satisfied to the degree. Uh, they can get a degree, uh, uh, extended degree they can have. So that is our uh, agenda. From the bottom to the step by step, finally they can have uh, some degree. Uh, so there is a home page in, in <laughs> Korean. Like it's, I'm so sorry there. And um, there is a configuration of the home page. So uh, especially uh, 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 people who are the uh, uh, 40, 50 age group, and uh, uh, we are courses for them, you know, for the health, you know, exercise and everything like that. All kinds of food and health and economics and uh, uh, so many kinds of the, uh, sources there are. So uh, when we uh, construct these kinds of OER network uh, for ODL, open and distance learning, uh, we overcome the license of resource of OER. So we call that uh, open licensing or free, of, free licensing, you know, without authorship. They donate our courses. Uh, so, um, and also to promote the uh, initiate the movement of OER for ODL and uh, we uh, collection of online contents together in one basket and also uh, we collect the uh, mobile contents too. So uh, according to the country it's very difficult. Open license, oh, we cannot accept like that. Especially last week I was in Japan, they, oh no, authorities <laughs> very strictly they keep. So it's difficult to changing the, uh, their mind, you know, open licensing and open courseware, uh, it's very difficult for them. But in the future, it will be uh, near to our some uh, society there. <laughs> That's all my presentation. And so, uh, OER project is ongoing now, you know. This year, ESM Network would like to, uh, the thesis of OER for uh, ESM OER. So we, uh, among our uh, member country, Malaysia and uh, Denmark, Britain, Philippines, and uh, Thailand, we divide each chapter and would like to make a one uh, whole OER project publishing you know, within uh, this year. So uh, I would like to ask <laughs> the <laughs> to join us and uh, uh, co work about the OER, yes, the OER. Huh? So, because our university is very similar situation in the Catalonia uh, University there, so we can share and we can exchange our experience together. That's all.